Welcome to Not Bro Nation. Welcome back guys, Jarrell here. And I am Josh, and today we're here to give our reaction to the newly released Althea Tapes edition. I think this is the third installment, not counting her introduction, which is one of them. It is counting her introduction. Okay. That, that is episode one. Fine. This is episode four. The fourth installment <laughs> of the Althea Tapes, Clark. Clark. So Al interviews Clark, a family man who's emerged from seclusion to check on his former place of business. Over the course of the interview, Al senses an opportunity that might pay off down the road. Oh, very cool. I like how the the twist of him checking on his business. That's really cool. Yeah. So let me get this prepared for a moment. Should have already had it prepared. I know, but <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> All right, guys, let us check out Clucky Boy. Let's do it. Let's talk. You were uh, talking about the Boy Scouts. Yes, I'm a scout leader for both my boys. Aww. So, give us a Coke can, we can make you a lantern, signal mirror, even a, even a penny stove. Probably good survival. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had a buddy, he was a prepper. God, we used to laugh at him. Just, I hope he made it just so he could say I told you so because <laughs> he did. <laughs> We're going to be okay out here for a while. We got the lake for water, fish. Kyle, he, he had a whitetail a couple weeks ago. A few more of those will be set for the winter. Not a lot of folks live up there, so daisy pushers, they're I don't know if it's snow in Texas. I mean, coming down here was the most dangerous thing I've done in months. What made you take the chance? A library. <laughs> Not much nuance in Grisham on the fifth read. You risked your life for books. And a check on the bank. Is that where you worked before? Yeah. Manager, clemency, savings and trust. Safe deposit boxes and the like. When people started getting sick, I, I locked it down tight. Took the family up to the cabin up on Lake Worth. <laughs> they didn't want me to come down here. Stacy, uh, she she raised a fuss. But I had to see with my own eyes if the vault was still standing. Why? Was it? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, why? Window smashed, cash was gone, but the vault? Just as I left it. Might be a good place to stash some things. Ah, well, yeah, he's got the code. <laughs> yeah, I reckon so. But I'm not planning to go back down there. Anyone else have access? Yeah. Ada Johnson, assistant manager. He was, anyway. I have no way of telling if she's still alive. You could. Give me the combination. <laughs> no. I don't know how I feel about that. I get it. I just want to keep some things safe. That money belongs to someone. Those things are family heirlooms. Things that hold Safety meaning. Safety mm. You think they're coming back for it? That's why, yeah. Uh, makes yeah. sense. I don't know. People don't care about those things anymore. Not those things. I'm not talking about old car titles. I'm talking about history. You know, a grandfather's watch from the war. Diamonds swallowed outside of Ellis Island. Yeah. Those vaults have stories. Yeah, stories to the people who put them there, but to anyone else, they're relics of a bygone era. They're not all relics. We are arguing for the same thing, the preservation of history. The difference is I'm preserving who we are, not what we have. I have a duty. So do I. Oh my God, this dude is serious. One day when this is all over, there has to be documentation. People need to know. Look, if, if someone opens your vault in a hundred years, what can they learn from an she old watch or a diamond? They'll, they'll need context, right? They're going to want to know who kept them safe. They're going to want to know... I want to know about you. She's trying to put it in perspective. I get what she's saying. I, don't know I get what he's saying that. too. But... Who knows? This tape, your story, could really help someone someday. Huh. All right. 
Next time I go down, I'll take you with me. Every time you leave, you don't know if you'll make it back. Now you're sounding like Stacy. Well, <laughs> Stacy's right. What if you don't make it back? Let's just say this tape was what they had of you. Is there anything you'd want to tell them? Yeah, I'd probably, I'd probably start out. Say it here. Boys, Kyle, Lee, stay safe. Be good to your mother. Be good to everybody you meet. We're in a different world. We all need to look out for one another. Stacy, if you're seeing this, I'm sorry I got killed. <laughs> you said I'm sorry you got killed? Sorry I got killed. Oh. I've loved you ever since you told me to kiss you down there on that river. I love you. And raising that family together was the greatest joy of my life. I'll give you that combination. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I won't be discovered for a hundred years, but fill it with stories. All kinds of stories from all kinds of people. For the future. Whenever that is. Wow. Hello. Got something to ride with? That was awesome. That was great. That was awesome. That was really good. Um, what an honorable man. Yeah. Yeah, see, I now I understood like why he wanted to preserve that. So he's like, you know, and I understood Al's point of view. It's like, look, these are material things that nobody cares about. Yes, they have stories, and that's what matters. Doesn't matter about, you know, like if somebody opens it in a hundred years, they're just gonna see. You know, uh, but that's not entirely whatever, true, right? But, there are some items that people would die to get back with. Exactly. Um, right. Case in point, but that's there the, is a bat with yeah. barbed wire that someone would die for. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, but no, like what he says, like, you know, things from Ellis Island, from people coming over, like... Absolutely. Yeah, coming back for those heirlooms. But to Al, it's probably the story of the people wanting yeah. to get back and get yeah. it. Not just the item is that's not what she's into. Absolutely, absolutely. It's she's she's all people. about the story surrounding right. those objects. Yeah. Um, and, and to preserve those, you could make an argument, is worth more than preserving the items themselves. Exactly. Um, and I think that's what yeah. she was trying to get across to him. But what an amazing character. That's cool. Um, yeah, I like Clark. I, you know, he's loyal and he's good. and Because right. um, he still comes down every once in a while, like he says, to check on the place. So the fact that he's you know. a Boy Scout, man, <laughs> I'd be very disappointed if he lost his life. Yeah. So but man, that's like that's almost a character that you could. Oh, you could definitely have on the bring show. Bring him into the show. Man. Oh yeah, I would love to like him and Ed. I'm loving those two. Those two, yeah, are good. Yeah. yeah, having those guys like cross paths or something with Al as in season five B or six, that'd be sweet. That'd be so sweet. It, Man, yeah. I'm the, you could even make an episode about her trying to get to the vault. Oh! That'd I mean, be sweet. Come on, yeah. I mean, I love that story. Everything about it was absolutely wonderful. Um, I think that's it, right? Yeah, I mean, Guys, let one. us know what you thought of Clark, the Althea tapes. Um, what an amazing story. Yeah, guys. So stay tuned. We do have episode five coming up shortly. And uh, stay tuned for that one. That is, one is titled Jody. So uh, not sure how many they're doing in the series. I know there's another one after Jody. Uh, so that is uh, going to be interesting. Yeah, very much. So, all right, guys. So leave the video a quick like if you enjoyed. Feel free to subscribe, hit the bell, and follow us at Knock Bar Nation on Twitter and Facebook. Stay tuned for more Althea tapes. I'm Jarrell. I'm Josh. We're Knock Bar Nation. We're out.